Starting off Cape Scott Provincial Park Turned out to be a beautiful day For now, we certainly expect some rain probably during the day So we have 17 km walk to our campsite It's gonna be fun about two more kilometers to get to the beach and the campsite so it's a pretty good trail it's very wet slippery there's a lot of ponds and rivers to cross and it's pretty well maintained it's very well marked I mean you cannot get lost at all but it's not the easiest one to walk on you definitely need good shoes and some strength especially if you come out there for for a couple of days and need to carry a lot of stuff So it's day two here at the Cape Scott Provincial Park. We spend the night here in uh, Nelsbite. It's a really nice spot. So right now we are heading to the lighthouse, which is uh, approximately seven kilometers walk one way. And there is a couple of really nice spots on the way too. Anyway, there was two bears here in the morning. They're gone luckily now, so we are able to cross and head on the trail and just make our way down to uh, Cape Scott. Should be an easier walk than yesterday. Also our backpacks are pretty light today. And uh, that's pretty much it.
we made it to experiment beach and uh, we have the whole beach just for us beautiful place We've made it to Cape Scott to the end of the trail. We were just resting at the lighthouse for a little bit. Fresh filtered water. So we got some great water after drinking creek water for two days and it was very refreshing. So now we're heading back to the campsite. Day three, and I'm on my way to Nissenbait, about six kilometers one way from uh, our campsite. All of my friends are a little bit tired today, and I decided to to walk there and check this place out. I made it to uh, Nissen Bight. As you can see, it's another beautiful spot. This beach is another campsite. You have a toilet here, a water source. Nils Bight is probably a little bit more popular because it's closer to uh, Cape Scott. If you want to hike to Cape Scott, if you have enough days, I would definitely recommend to spend uh, at least a night here. And so tomorrow is our fourth day. It's our last day in the park and we're just heading back to the parking lot.
We made it to Eric Lake. Great four days. My first time uh, been multiple days in the back country and camping out there. And I'm very happy I've done it. And uh, yeah, the, the area is just beautiful. It's like incredible. And uh, we're doing the, the last three kilometers now and then finally have a beer after four days. 